Good evening, everyone. Humor's a good thing, right? So I'll call the city council meeting for Wednesday, May 26th to order. And as we uh, get ready to, it looks like uh, the weather folks are, are uh, looking favorably upon us this weekend. Um, and we start to enjoy the summer and um, enjoy time with family and friends. Please remember the purpose of this weekend and what Memorial Day is for folks that gave the ultimate sacrifice so we get to do what we want to do. Uh, and they gave the ultimate sacrifice in defense of this nation. So thinking about that, moment of silence, please. All right, thank you. If Alderman Dunn would please. Thank you, Alderman Dunn. Brian, City Clerk, if you would please call the roll for tonight. Dunn? Here. Dorman? McGinnis? Here. Lee? Here. Grip? Here. Condon? Here. Dickman? Here. Jobjen? Here. And Ambrose? Here. A present, Your Honor. Thank you, Brian. So again, good evening, everyone, as we begin the meeting of the City Council. I'd again like to welcome everybody in attendance here and anybody who's viewing the meeting on particular uh, devices. We certainly respectfully welcome your comments and opinions, uh, but please keep in mind you're sharing your thoughts with your fellow Davenporters and anybody out in the region. We're happy you're participating in your city government and ask please that your participation reflect the common desire we all share to make, we all uh, strive to make uh, Davenport an even greater place for everyone. So if especially for folks in here. If you have a phone, if you'd please silence it or turn it off, just simply because it'll inter maybe interfere uh, with someone talking. Uh, when you want to address the council, there's the podium, the microphone's above you. Please just come up to the podium. Uh, we'd ask you to give your name, um, address, or warden. If you're not from here, we'd love to know where you're from. Um, we have, please be respectful of us. We'll be respectful of you. And when you're addressing us, please address us as a body. Thank you. So... First item, will an alderman please move approval of the city council meeting minutes for May 12th, 2021? Move. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Very good. Ms. Spiegel, our city administrator, any update? Just as a reminder, the mayor talked about the holiday weekend ahead, so most of the city facilities will be closed Monday in recognition of that, and we will be back in business on Tuesday, June 1st. Thank you, Ms. Spiegel. Um, will an alderman now move approval of the report of the Committee of the Whole for May 19th, 2021? I move. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Very good. We have three appointments and three proclamations this evening. So the appointments, one to the Citizens Advisory Committee, Reverend Jay Wollen, new appointment, Fifth Ward. Parks and Rec Advisory Board, Christopher Meyer, new appointment, at large, Alderman Condon. Robbie Ortiz, new appointment, fourth ward. I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion and a second to approve. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? And I see Mr. Wolland. Thank you for the service. Uh, we have a lot of uh, boards and commissions, and we, we ask our, many of our citizens to serve and advise. Um, so we appreciate all of the work that they do. And again, Reverend, thank you for um, doing that for us. So. We have three proclamations this evening, a Motorcycle Awareness Month, Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, and Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder Awareness Month. The first one will be Motorcycle Awareness Month, and that will be read by Alderman Jobson. Alderman Jobson, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Whereas the people of Davenport have an enduring regard for preservation of life on our highways, avenues, and streets, and whereas Motorcycle Awareness Month is being observed throughout our community, the state of Iowa, and the nation, and Whereas all motorcycle organizations, clubs, dealerships, groups, and highway safety officials in our region should join with the Iowa Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau and Abate of Iowa in actively promoting safe operation, increased rider training, improved licensing efforts, and motorcycle awareness. And whereas during this month and all months, all highway users should unite in safe sharing of roadways throughout the state of Iowa and Whereas Motorcycle Awareness Month provides citizens of Iowa an opportunity to commit themselves to being more alert and aware of other motor vehicle drivers 
and especially these operating motorcycles. And now, therefore, we, Mayor Mike Matson and the Davenport City Council do hereby proclaim the month of May 2021 as Motorcycle Awareness Month in the city of Davenport and urge all citizens of our community and across the nation to operate their vehicles in a safe manner with particular regard to motorcycle operators. Dated this 26th day of May, 2021. I move the proclamation. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed, same sign. Here to accept the proclamation is Keith Nims of Abate of Iowa. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> my name is Keith Nims. I'm with uh, District 15, ABATE of Iowa. And um, what ABATE stands for is a brotherhood aimed towards education. And that's what we try to do. Uh, we put on rider education courses. Um, we go into uh, the driver's ed, which a lot of that's Zoom now. But uh, so try to teach the younger drivers that just be a little more aware that, you know, there are motorcycles out there. And uh, so we try to get as much of that out there as we can. So um, thank you very much. Thank you. Our next one is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, and that will be read by Alderman Lee. Alderman Lee, please. Thank you very much, Mayor. Whereas the month of May is celebrated nationally as Asian Pacific American Heritage Month to honor and recognize the contributions of Asian American Pacific Islanders to our society. And Asian American Pacific Islanders have distinguished themselves as leading researchers in science, medicine, and technology, as innovative farmers and ranchers, as distinguished lawyers, judges, and government leaders, as prominent contributors in the arts, literature, and sports, as war heroes who defended our country from fascism, and as peacetime healthcare heroes currently in the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. And whereas Davenport is home to nearly 2,400 AAPI community members, and through their actions, make our community a more vibrant, prosperous, and secure city, and whereas, while we celebrate the achievements and contributions of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders that enrich our history, society, and culture, we must also acknowledge the additional determination, hard work, and perseverance AAPI individuals must put forth to be heard and seen, and that these additional efforts are a result of inequitable institution and systemic injustices such as those most recently manifested in racist, racist attacks on Asian Americans during the COVID-19 pandemic. And whereas, in response to the staggering rise in the number of hate crimes against the AAPI community during the COVID-19 pandemic, on May 20th, 2021, President Biden signed into law the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act which aims to strengthen enforcement against Asian anti-Asian hate crimes and greater protect our AAPI community. And whereas a vast variety of languages, religions, and cultural traditions of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders is continuously fostered to strengthen the fabric of American society and thou now therefore, we, Mayor Mike Matson and the Davenport City Council, do hereby proclaim May 2021 as Asian Pacific American Heritage Month and encourage all residents to celebrate our diverse heritage and culture and continue our effort to recognize the important and significant contributions of the AAPI community and to create a world that is more just, compassionate, and equitable for all, dated this 26th day of May, 2021. I move this proclamation be accepted. Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? This proclamation is accepted. Um, there is no one to accept it here today, but I would like to say um, 
today is an important day. It's um, the holiday of Vesak, which is uh, celebrated in the Buddhist community um, as well as in the Hindu community. Um, so it's a very important um, holiday for them. Uh, and I'd also like to say I am grateful that I have been accepted um, as part of family into the Vietnamese Buddhist community here in Davenport and all the way to Des Moines and Cedar Rapids and down to Pleasant, Mount Pleasant. Um, and I, I must say that that has absolutely enriched my life to be part of that community and to be able to provide service to that community. And the part of this proclamation that says um, um, that they must put forth effort to be heard and seen I very often get called in um, when they're being discriminated and they need some help. And I'm sorry to say that that is necessary in some cases. So I, this proclamation is a very important one. They really do make a difference in the community. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Lee. And the next one is Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder Awareness Month, and I'll read. So whereas Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, PTSD, can occur after a person experiences trauma, including but not limited to the stress of combat, rape, sexual assault, child abuse, bombings, accidents, natural disasters, and affects approximately 8 million adults in the United States annually. And whereas PTSD is associated with chemical changes in the body's hormonal system and atomic nervous system, and is characterized by symptoms including flashbacks, nightmares, insomnia, avoidance, hypervigilance, anxiety, and depression. And whereas PTSD can affect people of all ages, despite its treatability, many cases of PTSD remain undiagnosed and untreated due to a lack of awareness of this condition and the pers persistent stigma associated with mental health conditions. And whereas raising awareness of this condition is necessary to encourage those suffering to seek proper and timely treatment, which may save their lives. And whereas PTSD Awareness Month urges all to seek help for those who may have PTSD requiring medical assistance. And now, therefore, we, Mayor Mike Madsen and the Danport City Council, do hereby proclaim June 2021 as Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, PTSD, Awareness Month and call upon the citizens of Davenport to take an active role in educating themselves on PTSD and to assist in raising public awareness of this condition to continue helping their fellow neighbors live long, happier lives. Um, and I'll accept a motion to approve. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Very good. And Karen Abernoff with the Community Resource and Referral Center. I'll meet you at the <laughs> Thank you. Yes, my name is Karen Abendroth. I'm a social work supervisor at the Davenport VA Community Resource and Referral Center on Perry Street. And uh, the Iowa City VA is proud to continue the great collaboration with the city of Davenport. So PTSD, um, of course, unfortunately for our military veterans, there's a higher occurrence. One out of 10 veterans who receive care at the VA have post-traumatic post stress disorder. <laughs> and for veterans who served after 9-11, the occurrence is even higher. One out of four men and one out of five women have PTSD. This proclamation signifies that awareness of PTSD is important, which includes the fact that it doesn't have to be a chronic disorder with treatment recovery is possible. Thank you. Thank you. And Karen, thank you for the wonderful work you do at the CRRC. Appreciate it. So next is petition communications. Um, I'll just start quickly. Um, going, thinking back from old Army time. So again, weekend, holiday weekend, safety briefing. So be careful where you go, be careful in the water, enjoy yourselves, don't drink and drive, and uh, make sure you uh, have a good, wonderful, enjoy, uh, safe weekend. So having said that, Alderwoman Lee. Thank you very much, Mayor. 
Um, first of all, I'd like to remind people that tomorrow at five o'clock is the ribbon cutting for the Goose Creek Disc Golf Course down at the Goose Creek Park. Last weekend, they had a pro tournament down there um, with money, they, they awarded money. And next weekend, they're having a trilogy tournament, which is where everybody gets the same three discs, so nobody has any um, heads up on anybody else because they've got more expensive or better discs. So that'll be fun too. So I'd like to invite all of you to come down, even those watching, come down at five o'clock. There's also going to be a clinic by um, several disc golfers on how to throw them, and I will be first in line for that because I'm terrible. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, the other thing that I just found out is um, I called the compost for some garden soil, and because of COVID and because they had to be closed, they're actually out till next season for garden soil and compost. They do still have mulch, so if you're looking for mulch, you can still get it. Um, so I realized just how important that whole system is to us. And um, hopefully we'll be able to carry that on in the future. They're getting caught up. So it's a very important system here in the city. So thank you very much. Thank you, Alderman Lee. I apologize, anybody else? Uh, one alibi, um, next Thursday, I'm going to start having mayor and city administrator listening sessions. So. Uh, we'll be out at the Eastern Library on Thursday, about 5.30, 6.30, and we'll do one a month. Um, we'll be at different places, so you'll see that um, announcement in different places come out. It's simply for us to hear, tell us what we don't know. So if you're so inclined to come tell us what you don't know, we don't know, please do. So anybody else? Very good. Okay, we'll move to the individual approval of items on the discussion agenda. The first item is a second consideration of an ordinance for case ORD 21-01, amending various sections of Chapter 17 of the Municipal Code of Davenport, uh, entitled Zoning. Is there any public with comment? Seeing none, there's a motion second. and a second. Is there any discussion from Alderman? Seeing none, Brian, please call the roll. Grip? Yes. Ambrose? Dickman? Yes. McGinnis? Yes. Jobjin? Yes. Dunn? Yes. Condon? Yes. And Lee? Yes. Yes, is your honor. Very good. The ordinance moves to third consideration. The next item is a first consideration of an ordinance for case REZ 21-02, being, being the request of Belzer Ventures for a zoning map amendment to rezone 1320 West Kimberly Road containing 5.37 acres, more or less, from C2 corridor commercial to C3 general commercial to allow heavy metal, heavy retail of commercial <laughs> electronic, I'm sure the neighborhood would like heavy metal, <laughs> heavy retail of commercial electronic components. Is there any public with comment? Seeing none, motion second. and a second. Any discussion from older folks? Seeing none, Brian, please call the roll. Done? Yes. Grip? Yes. Ambrose? Dickman? Yes. McGinnis? Yes. Lee? Yes. Condon? Yes. And Jobjin? Yes. A yes is your honor. Very good. That moves to second consideration. The next item is a first consideration of an ordinance amending subsection 9.4030 of the Davenport Municipal Code providing penalties for fireworks violations. Is there any public with comment? Seeing none. So I'll entertain a motion and a second. second. Second, very good. Any discussion from Alder folks? Alderwoman Lee? Uh, yes, thank you. I pushed the wrong button again, sorry. All good, you're good. <laughs> um, when people find violations in their neighborhoods, they're still to call 911, correct? Yes, okay. So I'm still having trouble with some people in my ward thinking like I was brought up. That 911 is only for emergencies and they don't want to bother anybody. But I, I, we just need to reinforce that 911 is a way to record trends and, um, and it's going to be very important that people use it for this, this ordinance. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing none, Brian, please call the roll. Jobjin? Yes. Lee? Yes. Dunn? Yes. Grip? 
Yes. Condon? Yes. Dickman? Yes. McGinnis? Yes. And Ambrose? Yes, as your honor. Very good. Moves, the ordinance moves to second consideration. And since we have a big holiday weekend, the staff recommends suspension of the rules and passage of second and third consideration. Is there a motion for suspension? There's a motion and a second. Brian, please call the roll for suspension of the rules. Dickman? Yes. Ambrose? McGinnis? Yes. Lee? Yes. Condon? Yes. Dunn? Yes. Grip? Yes. And Jobjen? Yes. A yes, is your honor. Very good. The rules are suspended. So now is there a motion for passage on second and third consideration tonight? There's a motion and a second. Brian, please the roll. Lee? Yes. Ambrose? Condon? Yes. Dickman? Yes. McGinnis? Yes. Dunn? Yes. Jobjen? Yes. And Grip? Yes. A yes, is your honor. Very good. That ordinance is adopted. Mind your fireworks. The next area is uh, approval of all items on the consent agenda. There's a motion and a second. second. Brian, please call the roll for all items on consent. McGinnis? Yes. Condon? Yes. Dickman? Yes. Lee? Yes. Jobjen? Yes. Ambrose? Yes. Grip? Yes. And Dunn? Yes. Yes, is your honor. Very good. So consent's approved. So, so consent is approved. I'm going to have the honor then uh, because you guys have been gracious enough to approve Mr. Miller to be the seventh ward alderman. Mr. Miller, Dr. Miller, if you'd meet me at the podium. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Iowa. And the Constitution of the State of Iowa. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. And impartially. And impartially. To the best of my ability. To the best of my own ability. Discharge, discharge the duties of the Seventh Ward Alderman. Discharge the duties of the Seventh Ward Alderman. Of the City of Davenport. Of the City of Davenport. County of Scott. County of Scott. State of Iowa. State of Iowa. So now or hereafter required by law. So now or hereafter required by law. You're a seven word I just want to express my uh, extreme, well, frankly, humility uh, toward you and uh, you know, appreciation of the smoothness of this process. And I, this is my pledge to each one of you and each one of you in my city of Davenport that I will do the best of my abilities to uphold the standard by which you have so graciously set. Thank you. Get a few pictures and then Dr. Miller, take your seat. Do you want me us out of the way or? Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. All right, wonderful. That was kind of really cool. So, um, thank you, sir. Uh, next item, are there any other ordinances, motions, or resolutions? There are none for this evening. Next item, is there any public with business? Pausing, okay, uh, Dr. Mr. Handel, I assume, so. Bill Handel, Ward 4 in Davenport and Nashville, Tennessee. Good to see you again after a brief uh, respite in Nashville. A um, couple things today, uh, just uh, coming back to, Na uh, to, to, Nashville, to Davenport, uh, one of the things, uh, it's a beautiful day today, and uh, Joe Helen and I enjoyed coming down to uh, the freight house and enjoying uh, a nice meal with at uh, and now is two. Uh, the uh, the freight house, as as I see it right now, is a, is one one of the stars of our riverfront, and 
and it's getting a lot of use now that COVID seems to be, you know, in retreat. Um, so, um, but again, the thing is that our riverfront is what distinguished us, our fair city from all the other cities uh, that uh, that might be of its type. Um, and uh, I, uh, a couple things that, I, I, again, I have to to uh, to reiterate what I said in the past. The thing about the Quad Cities is that we're four cities, and we're not just Davenport, we're not just Rock Island, not just Bettendorf and Moline, but cities together. We just got back from a, a beautiful vacation to uh, Pittsburgh, you know, the city of three rivers. And um, it's um, if you look at Pittsburgh, just demographic, you kind of go, it must be in terrible shape because it's lost nearly half of its center city population since 1950 or 1960. But what you see is not something like Detroit, but you see a, a vibrant, beautiful city. And, uh, and part of it, the reason it's a vibrant, beautiful city is that they have looked at design. It's an important thing of theirs. The rivers are important things to theirs. The in inclusivity of all their population, all the things that we need to strive for, I think. And, and they're not three cities, you know, the, the North Bank, the Central Bank and, the, and the, the South Bank. No, they're one city, and uh, we need to strive for that. I mean, I, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm so disappointed the fact that, for example, I've said in the past, we don't have a ferry between Rock Island and Davenport. And I, when I look at the downtown Davenport partnership study from a couple years ago, they showed our riverfront and, and you know, beautiful riverfront and toward Rock Island, and all it was was water. There was no, as if there was no city across the way. This is one of the greatest things that we have is our, our sister city of Rock Island and uh, our other sister cities. And, uh, and, uh, and if it meant that, that by having a ferry that, that a couple of tourist dollars might end up in Rock Island, that's not right. And I, I think uh, we ought to, you know, just, uh, you know, we need to just throw away that idea entirely. I think we need to have the, um, we need to have a ferry. I mean, I was, we were walking down the riverfront uh, the other night, a beautiful night, and there's hardly anybody on our riverfront. We've got the Riverview Inn, you know. That should have somebody selling ice cream or hot dogs or something. Um, and we should have people down there, some high school kids giving free concerts. And if we could get people down to the riverfront every day, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Why aren't we doing that? It's been five years since the the, the casino left. There's no reason for this. I, you know, it's not a big outlay of cash, and, and why aren't we doing that? So, and uh, so, an entirely different thing. Um, just in the couple minutes that I've got, the city's on the verge of selling. I believe it's the, the 501 uh, West Third High Rise. Um, there's a, a very large green space that's attached to that. Very large, and and. Uh, I would judge as an architect that probably half of that could be somehow reserved for future development for housing by the city of Davenport. Architecturally, it'd be a great thing to have it on that area. Would not would be a very little um, uh, problem to the, to the owners of that, that high rise. Uh, and I think perhaps a very minor modification could be made of the sale that the city reserves the right to within say 15 years develop that that area but not not having an architect on our staff there's no need there's just no way for that to happen perhaps we've got a planning department let's use their planning department to come up with something like that that's all i have thanks thank you anyone else hearing and seeing no one motion and a second to adjourn all in favor have a very safe weekend everyone thank you